Legend says that if the first face you see is in the morning belongs to Lua, your day is gonna suck. This legend originates from Vivian's shop, the very shop Lua is currently entering. Hello! Nothing. Well, let me try again. Lua exits and re-enters the store. Behold, I've come to grace your humble shell with my amazing presence. Go away. And I miss you too, Vivian. Can't believe you turned Tal away the other day. Were you best friends or something? Go away. Go away, go away. Is that what you want to hear? I want you to say, rather? Go away. Go away. What else? Fine, what you want. Must I always want something to visit you? I don't know, must you? Yes, I want to talk. Fine, say what you have to say and then leave. Vivian, sometimes this attitude, I swear. Well? Well, seeing as you're not the one for pleasantries, I'll cut to the chase. I resume working on our project. Why? It's going well. So well, in fact, that I've chosen to put aside our petty squabbles. Petty squabbles? Is that how you see it? Please, can we not start- Can we not start about that again? I can't believe you. What happened to- You're awfully talkative. Someone's supposedly giving me the silent treatment. Just get out of my store. No, no, I'm sorry. Honestly. I didn't mean to call it a petty swell, but I meant- hmm. Well, I guess I meant to call it whatever you wanted me to call it. Just leave. Vivian, I'm giving you a very generous offer right now. I suggest you don't waste my kindness. I also consider I also consider me keeping quiet about your business really generous, so I suggest you stop bothering me. And I consider your science a given, considering how deeply involved you are in my business. I'm not gonna start this pissing match with you. I'm not interested in working with you again. So thank for, thank you for the offer, but keep the credit. I'll let you think about it. No need, please leave. I'll let you anyway. Goodbye for now. I really wish you'd drop by sometimes. And you misspelled incantations on your window ad. There's no S in the middle. <laughs> what? Yeah, just go. Feel like, like the smug bastard he is, Lua exits the room. Okay, he really is the jerk face. Meanwhile, Thuy is musing about his depression. I think loneliness and lack of future are the co main causes of my misery. But obviously I'm going to be lonely with such a shit personality, no social skills. Maybe if dad hadn't kicked my ass every time I opened my mouth, I would have learned to hold a conversation. And then there's also my awful diet and lack of exercise. I eat pizza and ice cream all day, it's probably a bad idea. If I get some of this crap under control, we could merge back and take it from there. Lua said our life force got split too, so we stay like this, I'll die in my 40s. And that's a generous estimate given my lifestyle so far. He watches his other self play video games, oh, yes. I don't think the other me has it in him to fix anything though. If I leave him to his own devices, I can go live a nice short life somewhere. Uh, hey me! Oh yeah? What's your plan? You have eyes, don't you? I'm trying to make conversation, stupid. Okay, but weren't we stuck in that one? Yeah, that's why I'm grinding levels. I'm almost at uh, 75. Stop wasting my life, stupid! <laughs> Stop grinding your RPG! Hey, uh, can you pause for a bit? Let's chat. Go ahead, I'm listening. Louis is too busy crafting equipment to lift his gaze from the screen. Oh, yes. Crafting all of the equipment. Okay. Forget this. Just letting you know I'm going over to Lua's again. Now the game gets paused. Again? Why? Like I said yesterday, I'm... How long do you have to have to do the poison thing? Yeah, fucking talk over me, why not? Me? I don't know. It's up to Lua. Lua, Lua, Lua. I'm getting sick of the name. Yeah, I'm gonna say a lot of things too. Huh? Uh, sorry, that came out wrong. Poison! No, that's what I meant. I'm gonna stick with the poison. Ha! Huh, but dumb tish? Oh, right. Well, um... I don't know what to say. Me neither. I'll go back to your video game. Don't slit your wrists and I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, bye. Weird. That was... He was smiling, right? As Thuya ponders on that, he spots Lua. Oh, it's weird to see you out and about. We're not all homebodies like you. Well, I was just about to come over. Pretty shitty of you to keep dropping by unannounced. I... I thought we were working on something though. But it was a one-time thing, hey, no complaints. Don't be ridiculous. Not all poison kills you immediately. I should give you at least a week to see if you drop dead or not. And should your existence continue, then I want to try another batch on you. Oh, okay. 
So, see you in a week then. I thought you were coming over. Oh my god, make up your mind. Well, I'll pass. You seem busy. Like I'll let you jerk me around like this. You say you're coming over, so over you'll come. Why'd you even ask? <laughs> Are you having a bad day or something? Whatever, yeah, whatever gave you that impression. I don't think I did anything that can reward this kind of treatment. Pray tell, what kind of treatment do you think you deserve exactly? Ah, uh, well. Sheesh, you said no, huh? Yes, as a matter of fact, she did. That's got nothing to do with anything. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Just throwing a hissy fit for fun. Yes, it's delightful. Now piss off the both of you. What? You, you made me walk all the way here for nothing? Tough, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a sour puss, right? What crawled up his ass? Uh, it's just Vivian. Don't worry about it. Who's Vivian? Um, okay. Anyway, you seem to be doing fine. How's life after being split in half? Uh, let's just say it has its challenges. <laughs> I bet. If I got split in half, I'll probably become an assassin. Because I can make myself seen while the other me does the killing. So I have the perfect alibi every time. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Why is she so why is she just a demon child? You know? Just so evil. Right, right, of course. Why not just do just that then? Are you kidding me? That cost me my half my life. Only an idiot will make that trade. Uh -huh. Da 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 I'm curious. Anyway, guess what? I spent the last few days washing a wall. Turns out permanent marker doesn't come off that easily. Who would have thought? You're talking about when we drew on the wall together? Wait, I drew with you? Yeah, right after it got split. We tried drawing cats with our eyes closed. That was you? Yeah? Weird. I could have sworn I was drawing with the happy half. I am the happy half. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's just you look so alike. Yeah. Don't mind me. I don't mind Lua either. He'll brood for a bit, then he'll act like none of this ever happened. So don't worry about it. You can go home or something. Alright, see you around then. Yep, see you later. Okay, the happy self is turning sad. Interesting. Hmm, that's weird. You know, like a hint, by the way. It's interesting because there's a, a very subtle hint, by the way, that it seems like the, the sadder half, you notice that they have different clothes. It's very similar to... Um, uh, what's his face? Uh, to the jerk face? You know, jerk face. Um, I was cause I was thinking like maybe that's an indication that when the other half split, you know, only one person got the clothes and the other one, I guess, was just naked. So he had to like get some clothes for uh, from his closet or whatever. But is, the other, is it the other way around or I don't know. Anyway, because yeah, it seems like the, the, the situation is kind of reversing slowly. The, the sadder half is becoming happy, and the happy half is becoming sadder. Anyway, do I look that down? That's bad. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. It's just that I'm so kind of weak from yesterday, that's all. For now, let's just focus on making the other me a little less, less miserable. Food, we'll chirp some food. Now, what should I get for me and myself? Sweets and treats are something healthy. Well, you know, the bad thing is probably sweets and treats, so probably let's do that first. Wait. That's right, I deserve it after everything that's happened. Jesus, what a mess I'm in. Of course I look a little down today. Another me, well, his life sucks so bad in general I should buy him a whole bag of candy. Yeah, maybe he'll even smile for me again. And so Theo goes to do some shopping. But how is our little bundle of sorrows doing? As one might guess, he spent the entire day with the video game. But try as he might, he can't clear his secret boss. He must clear it, otherwise he can't 100% the game, you know? You gotta fight this, that that's secret boss, you gotta 100% Everhood. And everything, gotta defeat the light being, you know, the one the, the one boss I got, I had like, a lot of trouble with in my playthrough of Everhood. Anyway, and that would mean his whole life has been for nothing. Ah, who bows this piece of crap? Can't stand this battle music anymore. Do, do, de do, de de Do, do, de de No, um, annoying. Do 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 no, um, I'd rather drink poison than play another minute. Yeah, I drink poison just like the other me. He was mad this uh, mad at me this morning, wasn't he? Why is that? I don't get it. How's that possible? It's literally me. I should know all about him. Ah, uh, wait. Is it because I don't help him clean? Is it still about that? I don't take myself such a petty person. It's not even that big of a mess in here. If I just picked up the dirty clothes, I'd already be so much cleaner. Then do it. Now what's the point? It doesn't matter anyway. It matters to the other me. 
So what? Let me pick up them up then. Now, now he's just talking to him. Like he, 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 they talk to him himself because they split it. Split it now, now they're just talking to himself also internally anyway. But he'd probably be happier if I did. But probably not because the house would still be a mess. So whether I pick up the clothes or not doesn't matter either way. Ah, it doesn't matter either way to do it. There's no reason not to do it. Can you do something? Like, can't do this much? Can you? Can you do this much? You absolute waste of space. Just gotta be lazy ass and do it. See that hoodie? Pick it up. Pick up the only hoodie and take it to the laundry basket. We can consider that a win. Well, that's just stupid. Why would I only pick up one item? That really impress the other me. But just really bloody highly, one absolute piece of shit. Ah, stop! Just pick up the damn laundry. Do it. Do it now, you piece of shit. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get him. Get him now. No. Um. After a bit of more bullying himself into it, Louis picks up all the dirty laundry. Yes. Improvement. He unknowingly shoves them all into the washing machine. It takes uh, but a minute, but you can feel like he's complete a Herculean task. Ah, huh, look at that. Am I a daughter or what? Oh lord, what kind of loser feels proud of her laundry? This is what you're supposed to do, fucking dumbass. There's no winning against Louis' powers of self loathing. I'm home. Oh, uh, welcome home. There you are, I brought food. The washing machine makes an unholy amount of noise as it spins. Oh, you're doing laundry? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh man, I really want to make a snare bark about hell freezing over or something, but... I think I'll snark about hell freezing over and I feel like a moron for doing any of this. I'm surprised this washing, washing machine still works, honestly. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it's pretty old. Didn't I buy it used to? Yeah, I did, from the previous tenant. Though I guess it was more like he left it here and demanded I pay for it. Can't believe I paid for it. I can, the dude was scary. Yeah, yeah, it was scary to you. Anyway, thanks for doing the laundry. House looks much nicer already. Uh, yeah, no problem. Oh no, we're it's actually self sess We're falling in love with ourselves. Yeah, appreciate it. I guess what you're doing, uh, I guess what you're going to appreciate. Uh, food that I lonely picked up just for you. I just, I, I wanted to say just for me, but I bet you misunderstand. Uh, what? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then he has a shopping bag full of cheap candy. Ta-da! Now well, look at this, a bag of treats. Is this a dream come true? If you really brought all this for me? Yeah, yeah, a bag of short-term happiness and long-term health consequences. Doesn't matter, we're gonna die anyway. <laughs> you know, when you're 40 years old. Eat that dopamine, baby. Wow. Does this, like, make you twice as miserable after the sugar spike is over? Well, if you don't want it. No, no, I want it. I'll eat them. I'll say I was expecting you to be a little happier. That's like expecting a dog to be a cat. It's candy. How is this not thrilling? Maybe if it was a kid. Oh, bullshit. I have a very vivid memory of wishing to be coddled up and giving candy hugs and pity. This memory is a true one, yes. So what's not the like? The candy has arrived. Yeah. Huh? What's wrong? This is literally the opposite of what I, from what I wanted. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Can't believe someone brought me something nice. Not sure if I count as someone, but yeah, sure. And pick of love and care. I even spent time with the picks, pick and mix, making sure I got only red and yellow gummies, none of that green stuff. Oh my god. Let's get married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up. You just don't understand. Yes, yes. Don't no, stop bawling. I look really stupid with that expression. Yeah, well, instead of looking at my stupid stuff face, let's watch a movie or something. That way, we at least have an excuse to suffer face of sugar. Sounds good to me. Good. Do we pretend to watch a movie while working their hardest to develop a fatty liver disease? Yes. The next day, other Dewey is surprised to wake up with the other half still in the house. You're not going to jerk faces today? Yeah, not today. You say he wants to wait a week before he knows if my organs fail or something. <laughs> Alright, finally. Um, we can finally hang out. We've been hanging out every evening though? No, no, like, I don't know, go somewhere together. Like people do when they have friends. Ah, okay. I'm just surprised you're willing to exit the house. Uh, I go sometimes. Like when I go to the store and go to another store. I go to the grocery stores, the pharmacy, even the gas station sometimes if everything else is closed. See, I go to all kinds of places. <laughs> Pretty wild. Screw you, I went to video shop too. Huh? We chat and we had tea and everything. So it's almost like a date even. Okay, hold up, who's Vivian? Huh? Oh, she's the other mage, the one at the Lego store? Ah, Miss Mage. When did you get to see her? I'm shocked. When I got locked out of the house. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Come to think of it, she said she was interested in the spell. Why'd you have to go and tell her about it? Well, Jesus, sorry. I take that as you don't want to go visit her. I take that as you do. Maybe? I mean, I want to show you off. <laughs> what? I have two cells. Maybe she'll think she- Well, cool. <laughs> no way she'll think that. She, she might. She might. She's a mage. 
All right, then let's see. We'll see. And so they went to see. Welcome. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Smell smooth, so cool. Shut up, I'm anxious enough already. Well, it's really interesting to see the both of you at once. Yeah, yes, that's right. It's my other half and he's cool. Sure. Oh, thanks, I feel so cool right now. Mm, what's up, me? Did you freeze? That's not cool. No, no, it's cool as ice. Now, can I get you popsicles something, uh, uh can, I get, can I get you popsicles something specific or are you just browsing? You don't happen to have anything that stops vomiting? You probably find something that's more suitable at a pharmacy. Hmm, I'm looking for something more specific. Like, let's say you ate something poisonous. You don't want to suppress that kind of vomit. That's how your body is trying to get rid of itself of, uh, of the. That's how your body is trying to rid itself of the poison. So just puke. Hmm. And how about something that makes all the poison come out all at once? I don't know. Get a gastric lavage. That's not a very magical solution. I don't understand why you're looking for magic when science has has you covered. <laughs> I think she's in the wrong business. She just she just should just work at the pharmacist or something. I don't know. It seemed fitting since it's magic making me ill. Oh. Hey, me, can we go now? Not right now, I'm having a conversation. I'm getting really anxious. Here are the keys, go home. Uh, can you walk me there, please? Oh, for fuck's sake, what even happened? He was fine a minute ago. Save? Um, I'm going to stay because I, I'm curious about, you know, Miss Mage and all that. No, I'm in the middle of something. This won't even take long. Just count those trinkets or something. Okay. I thought he goes to count glass charms and cry. <laughs> Is he okay? No, no worry. You said it's magic that makes you, that making, that's making you sick. Are you cursed or something? Eh, maybe. Because of reasons I drank a magic potion, I've been feeling kind of ill ever since. A potion was it? Well, it was supposed to be a cure for aging, but God knows what it actually was. What? What is it? You're so lucky to be alive. Huh? Why on earth would you do that? Didn't you learn your lesson last time? I'm sorry, what? I told you. I told you the first time you were here to not get involved with Lua. Uh, hmm. How did you know it was him? How daft are you? Hey, I owe him a favor, okay? Was it to you anyway? You're right. I'm sorry. It's none of my business. Well, it, well, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll just wait it out. I'm not really as sick as just there or anything. And then the next time, I'll just puke faster. Next time? Uh, because it's a work in progress? I have no words. You're beyond help. Okay, then. Then that was probably everything. You know, this is a pretty bad track record for you. Excuse me. I've been here twice and both times I got disappointed. I can't help someone who refused to listen to my advice. Yeah, yeah, at least Lua gets shit done. Sure, if making things worse counts, then yes, he gets shit done. Screw you. Come on, me, we're leaving. Uh, finally. Wait, better three. Yeah? I said better. Oh, wow, fuck you. Huh? Me? Here, try this. Give me the hands through your bag of weird grounded musk. Um, uh... It's a tea I made with a small smell to reduce anxiety. For me? Yeah, I thought you'd find it useful. Fuck, what do I say? Thank you? Just thank you or that I'm happy? Uh, um, uh... Cool? <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Try it hot, though. This one's free, but if you like it, come buy another batch. Wait, are you selling me drugs? <laughs> no, this is a legal store. It's just enchanted reishi mushrooms. Oh, okay. I'll give them a try. Yep, let me know how that goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, bye. Come again. Louie anyway, exits the shop, stumbling over his feet like he stumbled over his words. It's funny how she said the better three, even though he's technically the sadder one. Fuck! Oh my god, she's being so nice, I give another a thank you. Now she hates me now. Oh, she did say come again. What she want? She gave me some tea to try. Huh, okay. Well, good job. What? Good job, you know. Wasn't this like a big thing to you? Go visit someone? Uh, that's right, it was. Let's go home. You try that tea. Yeah, let's try some. Nah, you try it. I'm good. Huh? That Vivian's a cunt. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. Are you Australian? You can't say that unless you're Australian. Anyway, also I said it, but you know, I said it by proxy. I didn't say it. The character said it. So, it doesn't count. Anyway. You're just upset she told you off. Yeah, I am. What about it? Huh. <laughs> okay. Did I end up choosing the right option? I keep choosing the right options, I feel like. I'm trying to get them killed, you know? I'm trying to, like, I'm actually trying to kill myself in the game. Um, but it's not working out. Actually, it's just, everything's just fine. 
Anyway, so he returns to his nest and half of him drinks some mushroom tea. The next day, Vivian is messing up her spells left and right. Ah, focus, focus. So Lou is working on the project again, so what? That's up to him. And if that half-split doofus wants to help him, so be it. Even if that's exactly what I thought last time before Lacey. No, it's not my problem. Besides, I bet Lua is working on the potion just to get under my skin anyway. He even came around just to rub in my face. I'm not playing his game. I don't give a rat's ass. Vivian is too frustrated to work on her spells, so she decides to clean up the story instead. One shift broom sweep later, a bunch of Vivian's merchandise goes crashing on the floor. Can't knock them over by accident. Yes, by accident, of course. Would be pretty stupid to do on purpose. She stubbornly keeps cleaning for a few more hours. Those spider webs in the ceiling? Gone. Dust in the air ventilation system? Gone. Several hours later, the whole shop is sparkling. How satisfying. But Vivian isn't satisfied at all. Try as she might, she can't clean away the mess in her head. Fine. She rings Lua's doorbell. Just a second. And does it again. And again. And again, 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 and again. I heard you the first ten times, you- Oh. What are you doing here? I thought you said I should, should drop by sometime. That was a lie. Goodbye. So how are things the potion? Good progress? Ah, I see. You changed your mind? Well, as it just so happens, I've also changed my mind. I'm no longer willing you to let you assist me. I was under the impression you're working on your own. A little bird flies by and tells me you have another uh, assistant. Fascinating. Goodbye. Lou attempts to close the door, but Vivian forces her way in. So, would you like me? Would you like some coffee then? Hmm? Thank you. I love some. <laughs> okay. Lua slams the coffee pot on the table like the passive aggressive bitch she is. Half of the coffee spills over the table. Enjoy. Thanks. Drink and leave. I guess this is your way of repaying my hostility from last time. That it is. That's fine. Are you done yet? Because if you are, I like to talk like adults. If you're here to convince me to stop my research, don't bother. I'm not telling you to not work on it, but I am telling you not to hurt anyone while you're at it. Fear not, I'm not hurting anyone. Oh shit. That guy, the Thue. Thue, 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 he came, he came over the other day. You're using him as a tester, aren't you? He's got a big mouth, hmm? So you admit it, what are you doing? You're gonna kill him. Eh, who cares? There's a spare room anyway. That's beside the point. Keep this up, I'm gonna report you. And why I come here to announce your intentions? Oh wait, this is another one of your empty threats? I have enough dirt on you to bury you in it. So please, go right ahead, see what happens. I really don't know why you're getting involved in this. Did you just want my attention? Up yours. Or is that all then? Okay, you know your way out. And don't be so sad, I have good intentions, you know. I just thought what a shame was to come this far just to drop our research. I'm sure poor Lacey would roll in her grave if I did. Shut up. <laughs> oh, so she was so dedicated to it, wasn't she? Shut the hell up, you scum of the earth. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Your redemption arc is that we are after. Oh, let me save this random suicidal lost cause and surely dear sister forgives me. I have not an ounce of guilt over what you did to her. What did I do? She asked to help out. She wanted to do it, do you understand? Of course she wanted to help you. She was in love with you. Oh, she was? I had no idea. Again, with this bullshit, you knew. You knew and I figured, hey, now here's an easy target. Let me try the poison on her. Poison. Vivian, we both know it's not poison. It is poison, the state that it's in now. Fine. But did you ever stop to think maybe she drank it to help you? To aid your precious research. After all, this poison wasn't even my idea. Don't spin this around. It's all your fault. I wasn't going to make anyone drink it until I knew it worked. Except the rats. Poor little critters, you're such a monster. I don't want to hear from someone like you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. And that's the biggest lie yet. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, so some backstory by the way. I guess Lacey was her sister and then she died because of the experiments. Huh? Oh my god, Vivian, you're here. I had no idea. I would come home sooner. Hmm? Nope, just like pass by. What did you say to Vivian? She was crying. I suppose she was just happy to see you. Yeah, right. Why did you call me? I want to hang over her too. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, is, uh, because I'm thinking, like, wait. Why is she so cold to, uh, Tal or whatever? Is Tal, like, maybe 
Oh, here's a guess. Maybe she Tal is like similar to her sister or something, and you know, maybe you know, but like not her real sister. It just looks like her or something. Maybe a homunculus. I mean, I wouldn't put put it past him, you know, to make like a weird like artificial human. She she does seem childish, even though she's not. She doesn't look like a kid. But then again, I'm, 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 I might be the art style. I'm not sure. Anyway. Ah uh, yes, major drama. Very interesting. But it has very little to do with our hero, Theo. 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 Theo has spent the last several days playing video games. Oh my god, again. How do you keep fighting me so fast? You're looking at my screen. Uh, I'm not. You just suck at this game. No, you're looking at my half of the screen. Nope, you just suck. No, you're looking at my screen. I guess I guess how I know that? Yeah, because I'm looking at your screen. Ah. Uh, Maybe you're the one who got all the arch cheating attributes. Yeah, right. Go away in the bathroom while I hide my character. Ah, that's a hassle. Just let's just let's just play something else. Oh yeah, now you want to switch? What a coincidence. No one likes a sore loser, you know. No one likes a cheater either. Which, by the way, you just admitted to being your sore cheating loser. Damn it, you're right. Ha, <laughs> ha. Huh. Everyone's laughing. Good. There's nothing particularly funny about any of this, but the theaters are laughing like maniacs. If this was a group of friends, they'd be the one constantly ca cracking jokes and make, make the others laugh. But everyone would just laugh to be polite. No one would think he's funny. And then he'd go at it all day long, blissfully ignorant of how annoying he's being. Then Dewey would not be invited to hang out again. But well, since there are only three is here now, he's having the time of his life. Anyway, my horrible self, how was the tea? Great, I think it's working actually. Like, I was panicking over something stupid earlier. Then I drank the tea and was like, huh, maybe it doesn't matter if neighbors think my door is ugly. What do you mean? That's the only thing that matters in life. So she says we have no control over it. Do you think I should go thank her? I suppose. I mean, she went out of her way to make me this blend. I suppose. So, I mean, I have to go buy more anyway. I suppose. You suppose and suppose. Can't you see I'm trying to make you tell me to go? I suppose. Fine, fine, I'll go. I don't even need your approval anyway. I suppose that my own approval is your approval anyway. Goodbye. Okay, but what the hell am I supposed to do to approve here? That I don't even know. Aren't you like the main three? I am? Yeah, so... I can't just go around doing whatever I want with your life. Hold up, hold up. I'm the main three? Or Thuu? I can't say that. Thi- I, Oh, I can't- I can't- Thiu. 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 I'm the main Thiu? No matter how I you slice it, you have the more of the qualities I consider to be the- The Thiu. Really? Like what? Uh, misery? God, Thuu is more than my misery. Thuy was the person who existed before the misery came along. I'm just a disease or something. No. Explain. No. Why aren't you helpful today? I don't know how exactly, but your logic is crap. Actually, the whole main Thuy concept is a lot of crap anyway. I can't believe you have such a crappy thought. Yeah, I'm pretty crappy. That's why you want to get rid of me, wasn't it? Oh my god, okay, let's not go there. How would you go get some more magic tea? Fine. Actually, I take that back. Let's go there. Huh? I think we're doing pretty okay lately, aren't we? I... Compared to what? Before we split. I say it's about the same, really. Yeah, think about that. Your depression is back to being just about the same. Even though all the happiness was given to me and you hit rock bottom. So wouldn't that mean if we merge back now, we'd be way better off? But... It's not... It's not like you want to merge back. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Ah, what a couple of an answer. I'm gonna go buy some tea. Good luck, you can do it. You're so brave. Ah, condescending, so condescending. Ah. Godspeed, main Thuy. I'm not. Ma main th Now I'm saying Thuy. Th Thuy? Thuy? I want to say Theo, you know, but that's not right either. I'm not the main Thuy, right? Hmm. Again, I keep picking options. That I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to get the bad ending first, so. What if I say he's the main Thuy? Thuy. No, he's definitely the main one. I used to be happy once before life happened. I remember I was much more like the other me. And all this crap I drag around, this half the soul is just junk. I'm just some personification of Theory's sickness. I guess it doesn't really matter now. I want to merge back. And everything will make sense again. Welcome. Uh, hi. I didn't expect you back so soon. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I have no life, so... Okay. <laughs> crap, maybe announcing my loser status isn't a great conversation starter. Uh, I tried the tea. It was... Yes, thanks. I'm sorry, what? It... Yes, it was good. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask, but okay. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, yep. So I guess you're here to buy some more. I wasn't, but I guess I am now. 
Yeah, that's right. Here you go. Thanks. By the way, can I ask you something? Yes? Why is the other you agreeing to drink the poison? Oh, that. It's how we pay Jerkface for splitting us up. Okay, but why? What do you mean, why? You told me the other week that there was no written contract. So why pay him anything? Wait, I can do that? Just not pay? <laughs> that's that's why you got me a contract. Yeah, he can't prove you owe him anything. Much like you can't prove he screwed you over. So why are you paying him for screwing you over? Suddenly, Thuri feels really, really dumb. Why am I paying him? Screw that guy, I don't owe him squat. Exactly, he's nothing but trouble. If anything, he's the one who should undo this stupid spell. How do I sue this guy? I should report him somewhere. Er, uh, well, maybe don't go that far. Huh? It's, um... I mean, that costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Suing. <laughs> also, you know, again, Vivian, I guess, was, uh, the reason why Vivian, yeah, they mentioned before, like, Vivian isn't, like, reporting him because she is also involved in that poison, the whole poison thing, you know, trying to make the aging potion or whatever. So if, if he gets in trouble, then she'll get in trouble. <laughs> That's why. Uh, you're right. I wouldn't even know how to get the whole process even started. Like, is there, like, magic lawyers? Magic court? Oh, thank fuck. Well, don't you worry. I can try to help you under the spell. I thought you knew nothing about bad magic. Don't worry about that. Just stay away from Lua. I can figure out one half-ass spell like this. Double asked. What? My ass got split in half, so now I have two asses. It was a double assing spell. Okay. Ah, screw you. Other me thinks I'm funny. It just didn't make much sense, that's all. Well, I'll tell other me what we talked about. Good. I'll start looking into lifting the spell. Thank you, and I... I guess... Bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 Bye. Thiwi -bye. Bye -bye. Bye. looks... Uh, rather, the Not looks. Thiwi... Thiwi... Leaves the store happy. Sure, he made an ass of himself yet again. But at this point, he has done it so many times, it doesn't really matter anymore. Was it always this clean in here? Oh yeah, I took the trash out. Oh, thanks. Looks all nice now, our room. Well, yeah, I hope it stays that way. Kinda sounds like you're blaming me. Kinda, I am blaming you. Blame away, I'm also blaming you for something. And that is? You're wasting our life for it by drinking poison for no reason. Vivian said so. She told me that since there's no written contract, Lua can't really demand we pay him anything. So, you don't need to eat poison anymore. And frankly, you fucking idiot, why you do it in the first place? Hey, someone had to pay. Apparently not. Vivian even says she'll undo the spell for us. She just needs some time to figure it out. Yeah, well, I wonder what that's gonna cost. She's nice. I'm sure it's something reasonable. Yeah, she's so nice to us for no reason. I think we're getting scammed. I find you the character you are. You already got scammed by Jerkface. Twice. That's right. I'm looking for past experiences here. Uh, okay, fine. But can we stop drinking the poison anyway? I'd like to merge back to a body with the organs still functioning. So I guess it's just agreed now that we're just gonna merge back? It isn't? I don't know, is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine now, right? I thought you said so. I didn't exactly say fine, but I guess so. So now what, we just wait? That's right, we sew our thumbs up our asses and wait. Or we could just ask Lua to merge us back. I'm learning from past experiences. You can shut the hell up. Huh. Despite almost being smart enough not to, Theo goes to visit Lua. Uh-oh. You just keep on dropping by uninvited. I won't be long this time. And then I tell you we can't make the next batch of poison yet. About that. Me and I decided we want to merge back. Oh, you did, huh? So what? Uh, well, I figured that I'm getting a spell undone, I shouldn't have to pay for it. Sorry, no refunds. That's fine, I guess. Can you just merge us back anyway? Well, as it just so happens, this setup works better for me. No one's gonna come knocking if you kick the bucket, you see. So no, I don't think I'll be merging you back. Oh. Well, it was worth asking, I guess. Okay then, it's been fun, but let's not hang out anymore. Alright, see you next week. Uh, no, I'm saying we won't. Excuse me? I think helping you out once was payment enough. So I wish you all the best and goodbye. Hold on a minute, my friend. You think that's up to you? You agree to help me is up to me to specify when that helping is done. Mm, nope, I think it's finished now. And if you don't like that, I guess you can take me to court. Ah, so I guess that's that. Someone's feeling cocky today. Just what made you change your mind like this, I wonder? I just don't feel like dying anymore, I guess? No, of course not. That's the other you. Nope, he doesn't want to die either. You sure you change your mind a lot, I see. And if you change your mind about merging me back, let me know. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Okay, that's fine. You're not the only mage in town anyway. See you around. 
Someone's in a great mood, I see. Do you ever just get an urge to rip someone's head off? Ah, uh, Cause I do, I'm having it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go take my head elsewhere now. Can you believe it? That idiot- what's his name? Who, Theo? Yes, I know for a fact that he has a shit for brains. Why would you suddenly decide he doesn't want to help me finish the potion? There, there, don't be sad. And the boo who sue me? Fuck you! Some dumbass is a dumbass, so what? Just, I just don't appreciate being talked to like that. Who does this guy think he is? And who does he think he's talking to? I'd have curse his ass. Yeah, go for it. Speaking of petty curses, I bet Vivian... You bet Vivian what? You bet she's gonna get a piece of my mind. There's no way this isn't her fault somehow. Okay, whatever, just leave me out of it. Okay. And what was Vivian up to? She was busy reverse engineering Lua's splitting spell. It wasn't going very well. And what happened then? I don't know, I was unconscious. You didn't seem to prepare anything beforehand or something. No, it was all very sudden. One moment I'm in midair and the next, everything hurts. And it's already morning and I'm two people. What about the other you? Does he remember anything? No. Hmm, this gives me a very little to start off with. But you can still do it, right? Probably. This is just gonna take a little while longer. How much longer? I'm guessing just a couple years? Years! I thought it was going to be all over within a few days or so. What on earth made you think that? Your face made it look easy. Of course it's going to be easy if you already know the spell. <sighs> Takes a whole lot longer to start from scratch. And even then, it might not be a spell I can pull off. And it's not even certain? No, though I'm pretty confident. I don't know if I'm going to live that long. I'm sure we got 30 or so years still. But I'm burning two lives at once. So I'll only have our combined leftovers once we merge. Yeah, sucks to screw up, doesn't it? Oh, thanks. That's really... Ah, what are you doing here? Piss off, you extra. Can I help you? I can only take so much of your shit, Vivian. I don't call giving you any shit, seeing as I don't give a shit. Now that's some bullshit. Why are you so hell-bent on ruining my research? I told you I'll let you on in it if you want, so... I don't want in on it. Then why are you getting out of my way? More obligation? Oh, please. I don't owe you any explanations. I don't owe you any more of my time. Come along, Thuya, you, you still owe me quite a bit. Huh? Don't tell me you forgot, you haven't paid me for splitting your soul. Other me already told you, I don't need to pay you anything. Right, Vivian? Right. Right, right. Other you paid me already, but obviously you'll be taking payments from both of you. But, um, Vivian said... It's awfully hypocritical of Vivian to expect me to dish out spells for free, isn't it? But relax, I'm not asking for anything oh so horrendous as aiding me to cure aging. No, that'll make our dear friend Vivian upset. Um, so is it then? Well, that's what we're gonna have to discuss. So come along. Um, Viv, go ahead, you made a deal. You should switch your tone fast. Just wash his dishes or something and that's that. Well, no wonder your shop is gonna under your spells are that cheap. I'm taking into consideration how much the other half pays you already. Don't be so petty. You tell me all about petty, Viv. What should I... Move, that's what. It's a bad idea. <laughs> anyway, Lua drags back through your back home with him. So, uh, what now? Coffee, would you like some? Not really. <laughs> that's an improvement. <laughs> Weird, I remember you really liking it. <laughs> Don't be so nervous, let's figure out a payment, shall we? Go ahead, my friend, suggest something. Um... Cash or credit? Nothing? How about nothing? <laughs> nothing! I, uh... Don't have anything to pay you. I, have, I don't have to pay you anything. Really? It's like... God, it's like... If only you had it writing, my friend. You're learning so much today, ha ha ha. Your memory is pretty sharp for something so dull. Fuck you! I wouldn't make an enemy out of me if I were you. Vivian is gonna take a while to learn my spell, and then perhaps a little longer so to reverse it. But are you gonna lift a spell? I don't know. I guess we're here to plan this all out. Then I want the other me here too, so he can plan with us. Let's not pretend like you're two different people. Then why do I need to pay twice? Can we just sort this out already? Uh, no, I need time. Now, yeah, no kidding, you're gonna age twice as fast. Is that how it works? I figured I just don't drop dead in my 40s. After I run out of soul fuel or whatever. Of course not. You're burning through your soul from both ends. So you age up with the way at double speed. <laughs> Is that how it works? Nice. Another detail I wish I'd known. And another detail you would have known had you asked. God damn it. 
Do you know what will help your rapid aging? Uh, what? The potion your other son was helping me test. What a shame that project is dead in the water now. Oh. I honestly don't think it would have taken me that long to figure out the rest. Unlike Vivian, I'm quite good at what I do. So imagine if the other you helped me out testing it. Hell, the next batch might even be the winner. Excuse me, it must be another customer. While Louis goes to ruin in someone else's life, Louis uh, reflects upon his situation. It doesn't add up somehow. Why would I age twice as fast? It doesn't make any sense. Kind of feels like he just, just wants us to keep testing his potion. But what if it is true and I'm aging at double speed? Louis feels like he's heading to a trap or a dead end of some sort, no matter what. He wishes he had brought another phone so he could call himself to ask for his equally useless thoughts. Oh, I didn't know you were visiting. Hmm, visiting. You were, uh... Tao, and you're the unlucky Thuy. Yeah, I sure feel unlucky right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, I don't know. Your brother's an ass. <laughs> yep, he sure is. What's the matter? Maybe he can help you out. Probably not, unless you can merge my, me and my other self back together. Nah, sorry. My magic sucks so bad I even gave up, uh, gave up even trying. Thanks anyway. It's my own fault. I didn't think things through. Even now, Vivian is saying to suck it up and just pay up somehow. Your friends, Vivian? I guess, or kinda. Oh, she said anything about me? No, sorry. Oh. I mean, we're mostly trying to undo this split spell. Really? Vivian is? Is that, like, a bad thing? God, I'm getting screwed over by her, too? No, no. I was just surprised she was willing to touch bad magic again. Huh. <laughs> again? Way here. Huh? What? Why? Or what? Wait, what? <laughs> Before Thuy can even comprehend what's going on, Tara returns with a backpack. It's too small for whatever's inside and seems it's just about to give. Okay, let's go. Go where? I'm waiting for Lua. Yeah, you're gonna wait a while. Come on. Tao leads Thuy out right past Lua and some crying woman. Lua notices, but is too busy selling the woman his awful services. Thuy wants to tell her to run for the hills and never come back, but figures it's none of his business. <laughs> okay, it's another customer. But it's not like he listened either when told to stay away. Then he finds himself back at Vivian's shop. Oh, well, that was fast. What happened with... Hello, Vivian. Why are you here? I heard you dabbling my brother's spell. Vivian gives Louis a quick glance. In just half a second, she managed to convey both disappointment, betrayal, and hatred. I... We were just chatting. I had no idea I wasn't allowed to talk about you. Whatever. Don't be angry, look what I have. Tao pulls, uh, pulls Louis' spellbook out of her bag. You can borrow this if you like. Why would you lend me this? Yeah, it's not even hers to lend. What do you mean, why? I thought you wanted to know about the splitting spell. I'll make you some hot chocolate if you like. Yeah, yes, put marshmallows on it too. Okay, but they're pretty old. Sugar never expires. Is that true? I don't know. Louis at least stands around awkwardly if he feels like a complete outsider. Because he is. Soon there is hot chocolate and chit chat about magic. There's nothing whatsoever that Thuy can add to the conversation. This is just like the group of Simons back in school. I don't understand anything and nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, so hey? Should I go get the other me? Uh, what? Or huh, what? Well, like, if we're gonna try the spell, he should probably be around for that. You want me to try the spell right now? I mean, we have the spell book. I'm just copying Lua's notes. I still need to study it myself. Oh, okay. Why am I even here? Should I just leave? I think we should try it now! It doesn't look that hard. I'm not sure about this part about sewing the soul. It doesn't explain how. I don't know, a needle and thread? He's a bit weird. You still here? Uh, yeah. Aren't you gonna get the other you? What? So we are doing it now? Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Louis removes himself from the shop. The other two don't even notice and keep on chatting happily, as the theory suspected his input wasn't needed at all. Whatever, I don't mind at all. I'm not interested in some dumb girl talk anyway. Mmm, disgusting. They have cooties. <laughs> anyway. Alright. So I guess we're just gonna get our other selves and maybe try out that spell? Maybe. 